be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because I'm coming back to back with bangers, okay? So check this out. Today, we're gonna be covering the quickest way to use gain staging in Logic Pro 10. Again, that's the quickest way to use gain staging in Logic Pro 10, okay? Now, what is gain staging? Basically, what gain staging is there to do is a process of helping to keep your, your tracks from peaking. All right, and also it's a process to help you to have headroom in your mix. So like basically when you get your mix going, um, you know, it's nothing, none of your tracks are gonna be peaking. So let's just talk about this for a second. I'm gonna go over here to the uh, mixer window. This is a beat, I haven't even really uh, finished the beat or whatever, but as you can see here, all of these are instrument tracks, okay? And so like one, or melody tracks, or excuse me, MIDI tracks. So um, when I go over here to the mixer, these aren't audio, you know what I'm saying? So you have a signal that's coming in from the actual input or whatever um, VST I'm using, okay? So I'm got Alchemy, and then it's gonna come in here on a signal flow type of basis and then come through. And so what happens is sometimes the signal comes in hot and what you could do is you could put a gain plug in on here and lower the gain or or raise the gain to basically adjust the levels. So basically, if there's a level that's coming in too hot, this plug-in will help the levels to come in a little lower. And if there's a plug, if there's a a, a track that levels are coming in a little too low, this plug-in will help it to boost. So the quickest way to do gain staging in Logic Pro 10 is to use this gain plugin. So we're gonna go over all the way down here. It's basically where you see utility. And you go to gain, put stereo. Okay, or if it's a mono track, you push mono. All right, this is your gain knob. All you basically want to do is make sure that whatever sound or track you're working with is uh, is not peaking above negative six dB. Okay, that's as simple as that. So I'm gonna push play, and then um, we'll just start gain staging on this. And actually, let me go ahead and let you hear the track before, and you'll see how it's peaking crazy in here. And Logic Pro 10 kind of has it bad with the meters and everything like that for whatever reason. As you can see here, none of the song, none of the uh, meters are actually peaking. And um, but when you play it all together, you see a whole lot of uh, extra noise here. It's peaking over six dBs over zero dB, so that's crazy and that's horrible. So like um, when I put these. Um, this plug-in on here on each individual track is going to make sure that the, that the tracks are not peaking. So like for instance for this piano, honestly for this one it's fine. It's not going over negative 60 B. So I wouldn't necessarily need to gain stage that one. So let's go over here to the next one. If anything, I can kind of boost this one. It's a little low in the mix, so I can boost it a little bit. And you see that's really coming in hot. It's like negative 2.5 uh, dB. So we can just take the little bit of that gain off. You just keep on going here. Now, actually, actually after you have the plugin already on here, you just hold down option and drag it over. Let go of option and you have it on this next track. And the cool thing is like once you got a pretty good, especially like on your drums, once you come over here on this game plugin and turn it down on one of them, pretty much that setting would work for mostly all of them. You still want to go ahead and listen to make sure and pay attention to the meters, but it's pretty much going to do that on every single one.
All right, so now that we have everything gain stage, now let's look over here at the stereo out. Very crazy, significant difference. So like now when I code them, start mixing the levels of the track, basically by gain staging this, it's going to allow the mix to be guaranteed to not be peaking. All right, so that's what the whole point of gain staging is. That's the quickest way to do it. Now all I have to do is come in here to get the levels and I can mix and everything like that, and we're good to go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.